Hey guys, I'm Jitendra Vaswani here from Search Conference. So I'm with Lakshmi Pruthi from Ink Talks and with my friend uh, Prathamesh. Yeah, this is uh, Prathamesh Dastapuri from Everything Startup, and we have with us Lakshmi Pruthi, founder of Ink Talks. So, ma'am, could you just describe in short about Ink Talks? Yeah. So the idea is to bring great stories and make them accessible to everybody else. Because if we want our youth to have new role models, they need to. look at people who look like them talk like them who have made it made it successful and success is not always about money it's not just about becoming a billionaire there's all kinds of success there's social success there's impact so what we try to focus on is find people who are really amazing who are doing great work and we have a term for it we call it billionaires of moments you know billionaire of moments wow. moments so these are people who create great moments for others those are the people we want to celebrate uh, so it could be a prakash amte who is doing work in the tribal area or it could be a james cameron who is really building technology into film in a very very interesting way or it could be anand gandhi you know who is the first time filmmaker who with the film that won a national award or it could be someone like irfan khan you know who is uh, you know really done his time and is amazing amazing person or it could be a, you know somebody talking about astronomy like priya or it could be jennifer aker talking about social um, uh, media so the point is everybody has a story and the result didn't happen overnight there's a journey they have been on so we really try to focus on what's a journey that people have been on so that it is uh, you know it's inspiring to the young people who are listening and you should feel like hey i can do it too yeah yeah there's no thing called like overnight success right people think correct. that yeah correct so, because so if you look at news uh, you know which is very uh, today you know yeah. you may think that oh that's a billion dollar valuation it just happened overnight so people don't realize like you know infosys started in the 80s and they really like hit their peak in the 2000s so but they were at the same level of uh, you know dedication when they started as they were when they were successful so that's the spirit we are trying to bring in as to that success has a story and success has a journey and sustaining it is equally difficult so you don't consider m- money as a success parameter you think that story is important and how how much impact you are creating on the mindset of people right correct and uh, money is very important but it's a means to an end it's not an end in yeah. itself you right. know right. so your company could be valued at x today and uh, you know x by 10 tomorrow and uh, 20x day after but aren't you the same you know i mean your your dedication to make your product where it should be should remain the same no matter what the market is saying so and also it's important for young people to listen to stories of valor of courage of dedication of impact and you know we have a long ways to go in india in terms of creating really great impact with a very high quality you know and how do we make that happen and you brought ted to india first for the first time right uh-huh. then you started with ink talks what was your means mindset behind that see when i brought ted to india i mean i've been going to ted since 93 and i'm very good friends with everybody who is involved there etc and i gave a short talk at ted and when ted started going online and i could see that this is going to become a big phenomena i realized that there were very few indian voices on ted and okay. i felt before it becomes too big we should have a lot of indian voices so i said why don't we bring it to india and host a the proper big ted the way they do in us why don't we do it in india and i think all great things happen when you don't think too much about it i mean we had no i neither chris who is the curator of ted nor i had any idea what we meant when we said okay let's do ted in india we came here nobody knew about ted nobody wanted to pay for it nobody wanted to support it and you know now it's a fashion statement to say i have been to ted yeah, but at right. that time in 2009 nobody wanted to support it but still you know we had people like nandan nilkani and uh, nisa godrej i mean there were like a bunch of people who really got it and really supported it and google has always been a supporter from the beginning um so we've off to a start but the idea was we would do one ted india and then we would all go back to us i had no intention of moving here i've been away for 25 years but i felt that you know there are so many stories that need to be told in asia that i think we need to learn how to tell our stories because once you learn how to tell your stories you can i can talk to 
50 of you and tell the story in a way that it's compelling and it's much more interesting when others tell the story than just me you know exactly so our goal is how do we create great innovation soldiers great storytellers out there who create excitement in the world and bringing best minds under one stage was a huge task right how did you manage it like with the networking You know, I worked in US for 25 years. I have been in technology, I've been working with game companies, I've worked with uh, you know, uh, Hollywood, I have worked with um, uh, you know, Avid and you know a lot of the different companies. And I think in some ways through my journey people would say I'm like the Jane of all master of none, you know, and everybody would say you should pick one thing and you should like become a you know senior vp in that subject or whatever but that was never my interest because of that i think i picked up a lot of people along the way who are from very very different fields and as we all got older they all became very famous in whatever they were doing so you know so i have suddenly have this great network of friends who are all doing phenomenal things and they are not all unidimensional you know so you know it's for the first two years you pick from people you know and then everybody who comes to our conference now takes it up on themselves to introduce us to more interesting people so you know we have curator we are curating people who are actually curating speakers for us so it's like a it's a it's a viral uh, effect so that's how we bring i mean every year we like at the end we kind of go how the heck did we manage to bring these people and uh, and it just happens because it's a group effort it's not any one person's effect effort so do you always dream to be an entrepreneur uh not really i think i have always behaved like an entrepreneur no matter where i was i worked in the large one of the largest tech companies at intel and i always started things there so i think being an entrepreneur is not a, a job but a state of mind you can be an entrepreneur in a big company or you could be like a very boring big company person in a startup you know so it's sort of it's what you're willing you know my definition of a entrepreneur whether it's a big company or a small company is that are you willing to go all the way when you believe in something whether there is something at the end of it or not you love the journey so much that you're willing to go through it and if nothing comes out at the end you still feel happy you did it that's a true entrepreneur i mean unfortunately right. entrepreneurship is becoming too much about did i get my funding did i have money you know, is the right uh, board member right this right one all this stuff but that's not you know that is i mean you if you talk to the really successful ones they will tell you that they enjoy the game they don't enjoy the money why should uh, you know whether sachin bansal or kunal bal or uh, sergey brin or larry why should they be working today or they can relax and you know they have all you need is one home and one car and enough food for your kids why should you be running around like this because you're so passionate about what you do passion is very important here right that you're constantly learning your learning never ends you know and if you're in that state of mind that's being an entrepreneur that's so like we have so many startups coming up in india now so according to you process should be important right yeah not the you final know, result statistics will tell you even yeah. in silicon valley that only one out of 10 companies okay. makes it right does it mean the others shouldn't start it but you learn something in that and if you see even many successful entrepreneurs they have tried one or two things and failed even the company what it is today didn't start that way i mean i will get i have yet to meet a company that is doing their business plan you know they all change they all evolve so because you're addicted to the journey right so one last question how the experience at search conference right now It's great. I mean, I always love it when you see a lot of young people wandering around, excited. You know, I always say I learn from people half my age and twice as smart. So, I am I mean, I just am privileged that they want me to speak, uh, but that's only 10 minutes on stage, but the other hours I spend talking to everybody else is the most is really learning for me. Ma'am, you have been featured in 100 most powerful women by Forbes, right? Yeah. So what message you would like to give to women you know, entrepreneurs in our startup space? You know I really think that women have come a long way. I still feel there are a lot of um, 
you know obstacles you need to get over uh, i mean compared to my generation to this generation a lot of things have opened up but i find for a lot of women if there are any obstacles 90% of them are there in their own heads it's you know there's a the 10% that's in the society but i think if you want something you have to be able to stand up for someone and you have to be willing to be unpopular you know no one becomes successful by being liked by everybody and as women we are taught from the time we are kids that you know don't upset anybody you know you should you want to be that good girl that everybody likes you know and uh, and i think uh, i mean we are in an age where we're going from a very industrial economy to a creative economy uh, and women are great at multitasking they're really great at thinking holistic what is important uh, for an organization so i think it's the era of the women entrepreneurs women business leaders etc but they are the ones who need to deal with it i mean you should be okay leaving your kid at a daycare and going to work i mean you should be okay you may be traveling and your kid has fever you have to just deal with it it's harder for women uh, deal all this deal with it and uh, and and the we ta- and i think you know my husband says it very well that it may seem like a martyr like i'm sacrificing for anybody he said that the problem is you think only you can do it and nobody else can so he's like when i go on a business trip he says don't call 20 times to tell me what to do i know how to take care of a kid so i had to get over a lot of things in my own head it's nothing with him you know i somehow feel only i can somehow save everybody which is a myth thank you ma'am thank you for sharing your journey ma'am thank you thank you, thank you. sure thank you a lot ma'am thank you